Does he find the Y intercept? And is the Y intercept? Three. Three, as in order for? Zero, three. All right, we have zero, three, as your Y intercept, that the easiest thing to need to find. All right. Now we're going to go for the X intercept. Is that equation is in standard form? What is A? One. What is B? Four. And what is C? Six. C is? Three. Three. We're going to use quadratic formula. So our guidelines X equal minus B, also minus root of, root of mm. B squared minus. Or AC. Over. Or C. That will give you your X intercept. Alright? And from there, we might get the Y axis of symmetry and also find the vertex. So, in this case, we will have X equal minus. Minus 4. Minus 4 plus or minus root of 4 squared. 4 squared. Minus 4 times. One, one time times three, times three over, over two times two one. Two time one. So we have to work this out to find our x intercept. So we have x equal minus four plus or minus what is four squared? That will be sixteen minus twelve over. Two. So, next step, x equal minus 4 plus or minus 12 minus 16 minus 12. That will be 4. Everything is over 2. And we have x equal minus 4 plus or minus what is called of 4. Square of 4 is. So everything over. So this is an easy one. They have two in common. We can simplify that. What is negative four divided by two? That'll be negative two plus or minus. What is two divided by two? One. Based on that, we're gonna find the two x intercepts. The first one will be x one will be minus two plus. One, what is that? Minus two plus one. Love, that is minus two plus one. Then one of the x intercepts would be negative one comma. The second, how will you find the second one? Negative two. Minus two minus. One, what is the second x intercept? Negative three. Negative three, that will be the second x intercept. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, pay attention. Your x axis of symmetry is minus b over 2a. This is minus b over 2a. That will be this here. Mm -hmm. This is the x coordinate of the vertex. Right? Mm -hmm. Then, for the x coordinate of the vertex, we have what? Minus 2. Right? Now we need to find y. How will you find y? We're going to come here and replace it to find the entire vertex that we'll be able to grab. So far, so good. We'll have y equal what is x? x axis is negative 2. What will you do with negative 2? U squared. Plus four times negative two plus three. Then from there you use order of operation. You will have y equal what is negative two squared. Negative two squared people. That'll be four. Four times negative two. Negative eight plus three. Right? Oh, then there's that matter. I can do. 4 minus 8, negative 4 plus 3, 
negative 1. So my vertex will be negative 2, comma, negative 1. So I have every point that I need to find. Those are my x-intercept, this is my vertex, and my y-intercept is what? y-intercept of this point, right? Those are small numbers, we're going to count by what unit? One. By 1. So, 0, 3, what will be 0, 3 on the graph? Um, the second quadrant? 0, 3? Oh, that's the first quadrant. Hey! 0, 3, <laughs> Seven y-intercept. It'll be on the, it'll be on the y. Oh, what happens is one <laughs> unit. Uh, every two squares is one unit. So that would be 0, 3. All right? This is 1, 2, and 3, 0, 3. Now we have x intercept, which is negative 1, 0. Where will you put that? Negative 1, 0. What direction do you go? To the left, how many units? One unit. That would be negative 1. That would be negative 1, 0. This is one point. This is our y to serve. And the other point is negative 3, 0. You go how many units to the left? That would be negative 2. Negative 3, 0. That's the other one. And now we have our vertex. What is the vertex? Negative 2, negative 1. Where do you go? This is negative 2. And you go down one unit and you drop it here. That would be negative 2, comma, negative 1. Now you should be able to create that graph. In this case, A was positive, therefore the graph going where? Uh, so start from my vertex here, my x intercept. It can only touch it at y is equal to 0, 3. And you come back, find your other x intercept, and your graph goes up again. This is your U shape, and this is the line where x is equal to negative 2. That's your x axis of symmetry. Then you're done. Ta da! -da. Oh, yeah. It's easy.